Thank you for tuning in to Thy Kingdom Come broadcast today. This is Pastor Vivalette Poole, and it gives me great sorrow to actually have to tell you that this is our last broadcast of Thy Kingdom Come broadcast, and we really thank everyone who had played a part uh, in the broadcast. We are uh, going to do some things that are different that God has laid upon our hearts um, to do. Uh, but you can still see the broadcast and be a part of the broadcast online at my uh, website. I will still be holding uh, 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 church and, and Bible classes and things like that on the website. So you can uh, tune into BibleVisionMinistries.org uh, and actually take a look. But today we are going to more uh, a little happier uh, thing uh, actually talk about we're going to talk about something that we don't normally talk about and that is we're going to talk about where the bible talks about house churches and that's what i'm going to be doing until the lord says otherwise i'm going to be uh, ministering in my home um, according to phenomion uh, or Phil Phil philemon one and two and Alpha, our sister Ephesus, our fellow soldier and the church and the church in your house. So this is showing us today that um, these two sisters, well, uh, Aphila and Ephes, I felt a soldier, soldier um, which was a man and a woman, had a church in their house. And so um, it's, in, it's biblical, um, just in case you didn't know. Uh, house churches are biblical. Acts 2.46, and it says, Day and day by day, attending the temple together, breaking bread in their homes, and receive their food with gladness, with glad and generous hearts. So uh, in Acts, they began house churches first. And then, uh, of course, uh, as the church grew, they, of course, got, got, got buildings. Um, according to Acts 2, 4, 42, and they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and prayers. Um, 1 Corinthians 16 and 9, the churches of Asia send you greetings, Aquila and Priscilla, together with the church in their house, send you hearty greetings in, in the Lord. And so uh, I was praying and asking the Lord what to do regarding the ministry, and I dreamed that I had a church in my house. And like I said before, last uh, last time I talked with you, I had told you that I hadn't been doing anything but radio, uh, nothing but radio ministry. And the Lord said, okay, it's time now for you to begin uh, greeting people and being a part of people and healing the sick and, and, and just devoting my time as a regular pastor, but it was going to be in my house. Now, I don't know what else the Lord has in store, but I know that for sure that the broadcast thy kingdom come it will continue but just not on this radio station wpjl um i do thank you so much for uh, allowing me to come into your homes every week and i am truly gonna miss being on the radio with you guys but again uh is god is uh taking me a different route and a different way and i'm thankful that he definitely tells us uh wh which way to to, to uh to go as a result me and my husband will be um will be teaching and preaching in our home uh as the lord gives us uh, utterance and yes i will be uh if that's news to you last weekend i did uh let you know as well that i will be getting married uh june in june june 23rd so I, I thank the Lord for uh, granting me a, young, a wonderful uh, man of God who uh, both of us have prayed and asked the Lord uh, for guidance on what to do regarding uh, our relationship. And we have come to terms with getting married and starting a ministry together within our home. I um, also wanted to give another scripture that has a lot to do with house church Colossians 4 and 15, give my greetings to the brothers at Lacedonia and Nympha in the church and the church in her house. So again, it's a church that, and it was a woman. How about that? A woman that had a church in her house. The brothers at, at, at Laodicea and Nymphia, they had a church in this lady's house, Nymphia. Um, 
you know, so again, it is not uh, unscriptural. Uh, they did it back in the day, and I, I presume a lot of other people will be going to house church pretty soon if they cannot afford a building to worship the Lord in. According to Acts 20 and 20, how I think not shrink from declaring uh, to you anything that was profitable, teaching you in public from house and from house to house. So they went in and had Bible class in from house to house. And, um, you know, we'll be teaching and preaching in my home as well as in, you know, we may uh, branch out from, from my home uh, and, and, and go to maybe some uh, a, a hotel or center or youth, youth center, wherever the Lord leads. But we want to continue to preach and teach the gospel as much as we can. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, and he is the most important thing. It doesn't matter anything else. It doesn't matter about making a big name for myself because I'm not in this thing to please man. I'm in here in this thing to please God. I want to please God with my life and what I, how I live. And so it doesn't matter where you teach or preach at. It, what matters is if you're doing it all in the name of God and doing it to the will of God. Again, I have enjoyed being here on uh wjo for all i believe it's closer to five years being on radio but all things have to come to a halt and we have to begin to can to branch out and do more work of god do do more um exploits and and to expand the ministry other than just radio and that's where we're going we want to go directly to the people now and that's where god is leading us According to Romans 16 and 5, greet also the church in her in their house. Greet uh, my beloved Ephesus, who was the first convert to Christ in Asia. So again, a lot of God's people began in their home. So it's not unscriptural. It's not something that's unusual for uh, someone to begin in their house. So there's uh, close to about, uh, I believe I've got like 30 scriptures or so about house churches, about how that the apostles and uh, preachers, no, I'm sorry, it's 15, 15 scriptures about how that uh, God's people began, the apostles began church in their house and they went to women's houses and they went to, you know, from house to house and they did not cease from preaching according to five Acts 5, 42, and every day in the temple, and from house to house so they not just went to church or went to the, the temple uh and and so this doesn't omit us from going to church uh to a big temple or to a big place but don't forget that we can go from house to house and they did not cease teaching and preaching jesus as the christ so this was the beginning of the gospels and the beginning of the church and this is how it should be done according to the bible uh, I'm not saying that nothing against big churches, nothing against trying to, you know, have a huge church, but this is how the apostles did it. And I just want to pattern myself after what Jesus did and what he told the disciples to do. According to Titus 1 and 1 through 16, Paul, a servant of God and apostle of Jesus Christ for the sake of faith of God elect and that their knowledge of truth, which accords with godliness and hope of eternal life, which God who never lies, promised before the ages began at the proper time, manifested in his word through the preaching, which I have been entrusted by the command of our God, our Savior, to Titus, my true child, in common faith, grace, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus, our Savior. This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. And so again, uh, they are starting something, and it's a chain of little house churches. And as they begin, they become huge. And now, of course, we have churches all over the land preaching and teaching about Jesus. And that's what it's all about. That's who it's all about. It's about Jesus Christ. It's not about me, and it's not about you, but it's about Jesus Christ. It's about him and who died and shed blood for us on the cross for our sins. Um, we can, we'll, I'll continue giving you scriptures on house churches. And, uh, so you won't be, uh, um, no, you know, you won't be, you know, wondering, well, um, how is that? You know, why is that? Why is she doing that? 
because God told me to do it. And I, I'm just led by God. Whatever God tells me to do, I'm humble enough to do what God says. And so today I want you to understand that I'm going to miss being on radio, but I still will be in the public eye. I still be on YouTube. You can go to YouTube videos, look my name up, uh, uh, Pastor Bevelette Pool. Um, you can call WPJL, ask, learn how to spell my name. <laughs> it is unusual. Uh, and uh, just, you can go on my website at BibleVisionMinistries.org and find the, the teachings and preaching of the new, you know, uh, YouTube videos that I post every week. I'll be on Facebook. So I'll be on public media. So I won't stop. I may even do some radio on, uh, on, on the internet. But uh, as far as on the radio, and I may come back. The Lord may tell me to come back to radio. But right now, he's telling me to go into the house and preach and teach, even as the apostles did uh, back in the Bible years and years, many, many, many years ago. Um, so I just want to uh, thank you for tuning in as much as you can. Thank you for being a, a supporter of those that have supported me and given to the ministry. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. We love you. And most of all, remember that the power of the kingdom of God is in you.